Continuing on the theme of uh, model building history, especially the kits that have been produced in the past, we've got something a little bit special today. I've got a kit here, 75 years old, of the Avro Lancaster. Now, remember these kits came out in a time, in, this was a wartime kit actually, produced from 1945 46, and there was no plastic kits around at that time, except for the Prog Penguins. So this is another rare example of um, a, kit, a kit produced in wartime from raw materials. Now the box is absolutely beautiful, the box art, this one's made by Skyleader. Skyleader made fly models as well as uh, static spot solid models. And they did a series called uh, Sky Rover as well, which are small rubber driven models. If you look on this, it's got Sterling Liberator Lancaster, Avro York, Fortress Halifax, so it's a standard box. For all those models and if you look on the end it's got Halifax seven and sixpence so the, I don't know whether they've used uh, a Halifax box or somebody's changed the box but it doesn't matter anyway it's still a very very rare kit so let's see what we've got inside here we've got the wing blanks okay that's all you've got balsa blanks to build the wings okay so they've got to be profiled they've got to be tapered from the tip they are a full section placed on them and they've got to be properly carved then we've got a survivor, it's mangled, it's a tube of balsa cement and it's absolutely, it's in a lead tube and the tube is absolutely deteriorated but I'll try to keep it for historical value anyway. They don't allow uh, glue in kits now except the starter kits so it's quite a rare thing in itself. There's the fuselage, wow imagine that, it's quite daunting isn't it to make a model from that, to shape that, but we did, this is exactly what we did. We use these basic kits to build lovely models. And in this case, we've got some uh, printed parts. It's got Mark Lancaster, it's got the tail plane and the fins as well. And it's marked two and sixpence down there. It's like two shillings and sixpence in the uh, red pen. And these blocks of wood, these rough hewn blocks of wood, will be for the engine themselves. So we've got two of those. Okay, so you'd have to trace out the engine cells from the plan and then shape them from, uh, from the plan itself. Little packet here, let's see what's inside here. I don't get these out very often, in fact they're quite... what we've got? That looks like... Propellers, three bladed propellers, tin propellers. These were made by... quite interesting, these were made in Birmingham by a company that makes uh, fountain pen nibs. And uh, only a few years ago uh, I know the person who's in the family who made these nibs and they wanted to write the family history and uh, I showed him some of these tin propellers and he photographed them for the, the company newsletter. And then we've got always a fragile set of markings. Serial number W7446. I'll be interested to check that, see what it is. And the code letters BMA. It's even got the protective film on the outside. Now we've got here, we've got the plan this Lancaster, let's see what we've got in here. So you very rarely see the light of day, so it's quite exciting for me to look at these again. There we go, the Lancaster plant, marvellous, okay. It says squadron letters, veteran and serial numbers, door red, it's got the camouflage scheme at the bottom here. 176 scale solid model, Avro Lancaster 1, okay. And there's all your uh, there's a lot of sections as well, which should be transferred to cardboard and then just placed as you carve in it. Now a lot of the factory spotters, that are called factory spotters, that uh, went on the factory roofs, it was a voluntary job, but Dad used to do it actually, he used to end his day at the Alvis and then they'd go on the uh, factory roof and there were like uh, spotters to see if there's any incoming aircraft and they had to identify aircraft. And I've heard stories where they were on the roof there, smoking their uh, wheel cigarettes and carving models like this. So it's a wonderful, you can conjure up a picture, can't you, of the comradeship of them uh, on the factory roofs, identifying the aircraft, overflowing aircraft. And let's face it, they did an important job lot of the ROC, Royal Reserve Corps, same thing. It was very, very important factory spotters. So there we have a wonderful example, a rare example of a multi-engine solid model. Uh, I'll do these one by one so we can see, compare the differences in them. Some of the kits, the American kits in particular, are quite got some really nice accessories in them. 
So over a period of time, that's what we'll do. Hope you enjoyed that anyway. And remember, from that, you'll produce one of them. And that's no mean feat, is it? Thank you very much for your interest. Thank you.